All right, guys, we are back at it again. We are still out turkey hunting, and we spent all day out chasing these, I want to say dumb birds, but they're actually super intelligent. I think they're dumb because we can't catch up to them. But So I told Eric if he hunted hard today with me, I was going to make him something special, and this is special. We are going to do elk enchiladas in the Camp Chef Dutch oven. I'm going to use a 12-inch Dutch oven. Um, you can use a bigger one if you're making for more people. Just me and Eric, we're going to have leftovers. But what you're going to need is I chopped up a yellow onion. I diced up a handful of cilantro, some green onions, can of corn, two pounds of the most delicious elk hamburger on the planet. Or you can use beef or any other kind of hamburger you want. We're going with elk today. We got a can of olives, a can of green chilies, a can of pinto beans, and a can of black beans. Also, what you're going to need is some tortillas, a gigantic bag of cheese, a little bit of cream cheese, sour cream, enchilada sauce, salsa for the top, but the secret is the fresh red chili. Every year I hunt in New Mexico, I stop and I buy about 20 bags of this stuff. It's amazing. I don't know if you can find it locally wherever you live. New Mexico sells the best stuff. So we're gonna use some of that. The first thing we're gonna do is get the coals going for the Dutch oven, and then we're gonna brown our hamburger. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get your burquettes going, because they obviously take the longest. Now the thing with a good burquette is you don't want any black on it almost. The center can be a little black, but you want the whole thing to be that grayish, ashy looking thing, because that's when it's at its warmest. So those are going, they're gonna be ready in about five minutes. And now we're gonna brown the hamburger with a little bit of onion and some spices. So we got our hamburger browned with a little bit of onion, some garlic salt, salt, pepper, and our fresh New Mexico red chili. Now all you're going to want to do is put some sour cream. I usually put about a half a cup and then cream cheese, about another half a cup. Turn your pan way down before doing it so it doesn't burn, but it's still warm enough to melt it. So you can shut it off. All right, so we've got our hamburger browned. It's cooked, it's ready to go. We added the sour cream and the cream cheese, and now we're gonna need to put it in the Dutch oven. Now, a lot of people will put tin foil or a Dutch oven liner in there. I don't do that. All I do is I will add a little bit of enchilada sauce in the bottom, and then I'll start my tortilla stack. So this is how the stacking process goes. I will just cover the bottom with enchilada sauce, just kind of spread it around, make sure it covers the bottom so you're not burning your, your bottom tortilla. Just good. Then we'll add our four, first tortilla. Next I put in the hamburger, spread that around. Make sure you cover the whole tortilla so every bite has some beautiful elk hamburger in it. Now what I do at home when I do this is I put all these ingredients, the hamburger after it's cooked, the corn, all the beans, everything in a big bowl and just mix it up so it's just one mixture and put it in the in the uh, Dutch oven. I forgot my big bowl so I can't do that so I'm gonna have to add it individually which is fine then you can spread it out make it more evenly. So first we'll put the corn in and just spread it out evenly. Pinto beans, evenly. Black beans, evenly. Olives and green chilies, you guessed it, evenly. Green onions, evenly. I like to put a little cilantro in mine. This gives it a little extra kick. Lots and lots of cheese, please. But make sure you do it evenly. And then. More enchilada sauce. A 
All right, so that's the first layer, but that's all you need to know. I'm gonna just do the same steps over and over and over until we run out of ingredients. It's raining really hard right now, so we're gonna try to get this done, but after you make that first layer, just repeat it until you run out of ingredients. All right, so that's what it should look like. Like I said, just make as many layers as you can until you run out of ingredients. We got like three and a half. Our last layer was struggling a little bit, but we used it, everything we had, and uh, it's a heavy pot of elk enchiladas. So we're gonna go throw it on the briquettes and it will take about 25 to 30 minutes to cook. this thing off you know there's like a scientific method to go about getting your Dutch oven to the right temperature here's my belief every different briquette you buy different brands buy uh, they heat differently what we did we put about 12 on top and about 10 on bottom and I'm guessing it's around 375 and then it cooked for probably about 30 35 minutes but we're gonna pull it off, I think it's done. I can hear it boiling. We're gonna see, who knows. The moment of truth. Oh yeah. I think she's done. So this is elk enchilada casserole more or less I'm gonna cut Eric a piece out of this and see how it is <laughs> good job Casey Wow Guys, we've said it before and we'll say it again. Just because you're outside, back in the backcountry, enjoying Mother Nature, you don't have to eat crappy food. Get a good setup. Get a good Camp Chef stove. Get a good Camp Chef Dutch oven. And make amazing food. Better food than you eat at home. Go watch some of our other videos. We're going to be doing a lot more. And uh, we're going to enjoy some elk enchiladas. By the fire. It tastes better by the fire, too. Man, it's good. <laughs>